everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Janine Sandaga and for today's video, we're going to talk about Mona Lisa while doing a time-lapse painting of Mona Lisa as well. So let's start the video. Before anything else, everything I will say in this video is just my humble opinion at yung mga nalaman ko about sa Mona Lisa is nalaman ko lang sa net, such as Google and YouTube. I'm no historian or pro artist and also I'm doing a copy of Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Huwag kayong masyadong mag- <laughs> mag-expect lang yan. I will try my best. And I know hindi super gaya yung magagawa ko and I'm not into details din and time siguro. I have to produce at least one art per week and I'm really working hard and faster to maybe produce two videos per week pero <laughs> never pang nangyayari <laughs> lang yan. I'm trying hard talaga. I don't know din sometimes, dapat si Frida Kahlo yung gagawin ko. One of my favorite artists na inspiring for me as an artist, as a female, and as a human being. Pero sketch and outline pa lang yung nagagawa ko. Na-stuck kasi ako sa background. Kaya nag ako, keep going lang, di ba? Babalikan ko naman. So, si Mona Lisa muna. This painting is inspiring for me. Well, I have a different style. I mean, really different. Mine was really into figure at kita-kita yung brush stroke. Inspiring for me in terms of a strong and sometimes emotional subject and have a beautiful landscape behind. Actually, second attempt kong gumawa ng Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa o yung alternative title na Lagyan Konda, tas double N daw dapat yung Mona kasi Madonna. Typo error daw. It was painted on year 1503 to 1519 in Florence, Italy by the famous Italian painter, draftsman, sculptor, architecture, engineer, scientist, inventor, and a doctor, Leonardo da Vinci. Gumamit siya na oil on poplar wood panel. Measures 30 inches by 21 inches. Yung girl na nasa painting is si Lisa. Ang full name niya is Madonna Lisa di Antonio Maria Gerardini. Pangatlong asawa ni Francesco del Gion Condo, isang humble cloth and silk merchant, and later naging local official. Nagkaroon sila ng limang anak. Yung father ni Leonardo, si Sir Piero, at yung family ni Lisa nagkaroon ng business transaction at malapit lang yung bahay nila sa isa't isa, opposite lang. At that time, yung mga aristocrat ay gusto magpagawa ng painting kay Leonardo. Si Francesco have a bit of reputation and aggressive deal maker, kaya napapay niyang gumawa ng commission portrait si Leonardo. Pinapaint niya yung asawa niya na si Lisa, 25 years old siya noon, as a celebration of birth of their second son at completion ng bahay nila. Lisa died on July 15, 1542 at the age of 63 and it was a grand funeral that everybody knows that she passed away. Francesco died 5 years earlier on 1539. He is nearly 8 years old. Pero siniguro niya na nasa mabuti yung wealth niya. Lisa was described as a beloved, faithful wife. Kaya yung hand niya is right over left. Pero hindi nakita ni Francesco yung painting na kay Leonardo all along. Daladala niya kahit sa travel niya, it took him 16 years to paint Mona Lisa on and off yun. It was a commission portrait pero hindi niya binigay at hindi rin siya binayaran. Nung namatay si Leonardo, ipinamana niya sa student at katulong niya yung Mona Lisa at iba pa niya mga ginawa. Tapos binili ng hari tas inilagay sa palasyo pero palipat-lipat din ng palasyo. Madaming palasyo na din siyang isinabit hanggang sa i-display sa bedroom ng French Emperor na si Napoleon I sa France. At may nabasa akong trivia about dito na si Napoleon daw ay may matinding crush kay Mona Lisa. Inspired siya kay Mona Lisa kaya nabibighani siya sa pretty Italian girls. Pero na-excel si Napoleon kaya inilipat ulit sa Louvre Museum si Mona Lisa. Hindi pa nun sikat si Mona Lisa hanggang sa isang araw ninakaw siya. Isa si Pablo Picasso, isang kinalang painter, ang inakusahang nagnakaw ng Mona Lisa. Isa siya sa kinestyon kasi bumibili siya before na mga stolen love pieces. Pero napawalan sala din siya. Newspapers spread the story na ninakaw si Mona Lisa worldwide. Nawalan sila ng hope kung mahahanap pa ba nila si Mona Lisa. Two years bago nahuli yung magnanakaw na si Vincenzo Perugia, isang proud 
Italian nationalist na nagtatrabaho sa Louvre. Normal lang siyang pumasok sa museum, tas kinuha niya yung Mona Lisa, tinanggal niya yung frame tapos, inilagay niya sa loob ng mahaba niyang damit. Ninakaw daw niya yung painting kasi naniniwala siyang dapat si Mona Lisa ay nasa Italy, nasa homeland ni Leonardo da Vinci, hindi sa France. Pero maaring na peer pressure siya ng mga may copy o replica ng Mona Lisa. Baka tumaas yung benta kapag nawala at sumikat sa mundo ang Mona Lisa. May nagsabi na si Eduardo de Falfierno daw ang nagutos kay Vicenzo na nakawin at inutusan niya si Ives Chaudrona na gumawa ng anim na replika ng Mona Lisa para ibenta sa Estados Unidos habang hindi pa nakikita si Mona Lisa. Nahuli si Vicenzo kasi binalak niyang ibenta sa Florence Museum sa Italy yung painting. Naibalik naman sa Louvre Museum si Mona Lisa noong 1913 pero si Vicenzo ay itinuturing na makabayan at nakulong lamang ng 6 months. So yun, simula nung nanakaw yung painting tsaka sumikat si Mona Lisa at binansagan na one of the great painting because of her enigmatic smile. Noong nawala daw yun, some people leave flowers, notes, at tumitingin lang kung saan dati nakasabit si Mona Lisa. Kung mapapansin nyo, wala siyang kilay. Nawala daw kasi nag-faded na rin at dumaan na sa maraming restoration and overcleaning over the years. Pero not everyone is a fan of Mona Lisa. May incident na sinabuyan nito ng acid. Sobrang damage yung sa lower part at meron pa binato ng bato kaya nag-chip at tatanggal yung elbow part pero nirepaint na lang ulit. Kaya ngayon may sarili na siyang room nakalagay sa bulletproof na glass loop museum. Meron din siyang sariling mailbox, nakakatanggap siya ng mga love letters. Taray, di ba? <laughs> May nagsusuicide at nagiiwan ng note kay Mona Lisa, mga ganun. At ang Mona Lisa is priceless, hindi pwedeng bilhin o ibenta. Pagmamayari ng government ng France, over 6 million people ang bumibisita sa Louvre Museum para makita ang Mona Lisa every year. May nabasa ako ang sabi, Leonardo da Vinci used more than 30 layers of paint on the Mona Lisa, some of which were thinner than a human hair. Also considered such an amazing painting is due to the revolutionary new technique Leonardo used. Yung blending ng tones and colors without distinct lines called isfumato. By using this technique, an artist shades the colors into one another, creating hazy forms. And now Mona Lisa is the world famous portrait. May napanood ako sa YouTube yung Secrets of Mona Lisa. Nadalawa daw yung Mona Lisa na ginawa ni Leonardo which is nasa ilalim ng painting mismo ng Mona Lisa. A girl looking in a distance daw. Gamit yung super techy na camera para makita yung layer by layer ng painting kung paano ito ginawa. Ikukulong yung sinabi nila, not mine ha. They also believe that Mona Lisa is an ideal girl. All of his knowledge, all of his philosophy, pieces together all he knows about nature and about human nature. Mona Lisa isn't really Mona Lisa after all, but something much more than that. It's a painting of life itself as Leonardo had come to think of it, his way of painting us all. Dapat gagawa ko ng YouTube request from Nika Camargo. Ang sabi niya, can you teach us how to glaze? Gagawin ko dapat kay Mona Lisa pero hindi pa siya tuyo. At saka wall painting kasi ginamit ko 3 to 5 days or 1 week bago siya matuyo completely. And hindi siya, Thursday na ngayon hindi siya umabot sa video. At i-edit ko today and sisave ko up to 12 hours. As in 12 hours talaga yung pag-save ko ng video. Kasi ang laking file na kinocompress ko into one. So ginagawa ko yung bago ko matulog and pag-gising ko nakasave na siya. And I will upload maybe by Friday. Next time siguro. <laughs> Kindly support me by liking this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video. Especially sa friends mong alam mong makakarelate dito. And also, like my Facebook page which is Jelen Sandaga at i-click new see it first and also if you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video in YouTube click the bell beside the subscribe button to notify you whenever I upload <laughs> so yun lang thank you so so much for watching see you in my next video bye anyway the main next video will be a art tips part 2 so be sure to subscribe bye